Update driver. Step 1. Press Windows key, type dvmgmt.msc and press Enter. Step 2. In Device Manager, expand Sound, Video and Game Controllers, then right-click your audio driver and pick Update Driver. Step 3. Hit Search automatically for updated driver software. Step 4. The moment the update completes, restart your computer. Step 5. When the screen comes back on, see how things turn out. Note. You recently updated the audio driver of your PC? Then it's possible that the new driver is what prevents Railtech HD Audio Manager from recognizing your headphones, and you should roll back the driver. Step 1. Open Device Manager. Right-click your audio driver in Sound, Video, and Game Controllers and pick Properties. Step 2. Go to the Driver tab, hit Rollback Driver and follow on-screen instructions. Step 3. Restart your computer. Run the Playing Audio Troubleshooter. Step 1. Press Windows plus I to open Settings. Select Update and Security, then choose Troubleshoot. Step 2. Click Additional Troubleshooters. Pick Playing Audio and hit Run the Troubleshooter. Step 3. Assuming that the troubleshooter manages to identify the root of the problem after the troubleshooting finishes, hit Apply This Fix. Set Default Playback Device. Step 1. Look to the right side of the taskbar, right-click the speaker icon and click Sounds. Step 2. Go to the Playback tab, right-click your headphones and pick Properties. Step 3. Click the drop-down menu next to Device Usage, then pick Use This Device, Enable. Step 4. Select Apply. Choose OK and unplug your headphones. Step 5. Restart your computer, plug your headphones back in, then determine whether the issue persists. Note. If you cannot see the device, right-click an empty space and pick Show Disabled Devices. Disable Front Panel. Jack Detection. Step 1. Locate the Realtek HD Audio Manager icon in System Tray, right-click it, and pick Sound Manager. Step 2. Look to the top right of the Realtek HD Audio Manager window. Select the folder icon, check the Disable Front Panel Jack Detection checkbox, and choose OK. Step 3. Restart your computer.